evening people. Good evening, teacher. Welcome one more time. To the class before the last one. We'll finish tomorrow, people. We are going to finish. Yay. Holidays. Yes, teacher. <laughs> well, holidays for me, I don't know for you. At least you will go to bed early. <laughs> Por lo menos se van a ir a acostar temprano. Hello, Jason, now he's gone. <laughs> okay, let's get started tonight with the first attendance of the evening. So please, cameras on. Abner Adoni Molina. Present. Okay, welcome. Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Present. Okay. Brian Aldair Figueroa. Present, teacher. Uh, puede estar de modo oyente ahorita mientras llego a casa. Okay. Carlos Antonio Elías. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Okay. Carmen Merari Rios. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Irma Noemi de Jesus. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Jose Francisco Beltrán. Present teacher. Okay. Carla Milena López. Present teacher. Hello. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Present teacher. Hello. Lady Yolibet Cruz. Present teacher. Okay. María Epifania Castro. Present teacher. Okay. Mariela Andrea Carranza. Marta Marisol Castillo. Present teacher. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Present teacher. Good. Mónica María Pérez. 
Present. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Hmm. Raúl Mauricio Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Okay. Eh, Ricardo Alonso López. Sandra Yamilet Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Teresa Noemi Ángel. Vilma de Los Ángeles Escobar. William Giovanni Laine. Present. Okay. Okay, people, welcome to the penultimate class. We finish tomorrow, so tomorrow um, debe estar completo homeworks of section four and the four parts, las cuatro partes de el final exam. Ya. Vamos a ver cuántos todavía no han terminado la section four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Uy, hay varios que la tienen a cero. Diez, once, ¿Cuál, cuál, dos. ¿Cómo el teacher? No lo entiendo. Las, las tareas de la sección oh. cuatro. Sí, yo creo que en mi caso solo esta semana me hace falta. Ok. Y el examen final solo lo ha terminado uno. No, va a seguirme a quien ya lo hicieron. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Yeah, ok. Así que, bueno. Porque mañana sí, chicos, no hay prórroga. Mañana sí no hay prórroga. Yo me voy a, a mimir y las notas quedan como están. ¿Verdad? Sí que me voy a dormir como a medianoche. Pero... Pues tienen que tener ya los todo terminado, please. Ok. Well, let's continue today. We just took a quick look of this article about printers. We'll read it one more time. Printer quality. Do you have a printer at home? Yeah. Raise your hand, raise your hand if virtual hand, if you have a printer at home, not at work, but at home. Who has a printer at home? Body has a printer at home. Ah, you use the work printer. <laughs> okay. Who uses a printer 
at work. Raise your hand if you use a printer at work. Ah, okay. Ifania, Milena, and Elizabeth, Jose. The others don't use a printer for work. Okay. Well, I have a printer. I don't use it too much, but my wife uses the printer a lot because she is a first grade teacher. So she prints a lot of material for her children at school. Every week, a lot of pages are printed for the children in the school. Here at home, of course. That's why we have a printer. Okay, well, let's take a quick look again to this article about printers. I will read it one more time, okay? So please pay attention to the reading. I already recorded the audio last night. Ahí se lo grabé anoche. So you can listen to it whenever you want. Pueden escucharlo cuando quieran. Printer qualities is the topic in this article. Color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white print printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printer resolution, the sharpness of text and images on paper, is usually measured in dots per inch, DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Okay. Then we have five questions here. Why is color important for some users? Two, what does DPI stand for? Three, why are color printers more expensive? Four, what is something important for someone who prints a lot? Five, what is the amount of memory that most printers come with? I will give you time to respond these questions according to the article. 
I will send you to working groups to do it together. Okay? And voy a enviar a hacer en grupo este trabajo. Respond the questions, okay? You can read the article again and respond the questions together. Okay? So... Okay. Letter five. Let's see with Give me a sec. I need to move someone. Okay, let's see. Okay, go to your group, read the article again, and respond the questions together. See you in 10 minutes or so. Join your group, please. Go to your groups. Irma, Kevin, can you join your groups or not? Voy manejando, teacher. Por eso no he podido. Okay, no problem.
What is what is sí, no. DP DP? Sería. Hmm. Dots per inch. Mm -hmm. What does DPE stand for? This DPI stand for. So. And, and printer are much, much, much faster. Okay. Y la última dice, what is the amount of, of memory that most printer And en la cantidad de memoria. Dejemos eso para avanzar a la otra. Okay. Ahí la tercera, la cuarta, perdón. What is something? What is some, some word no, no, no. Prints a lot. Sí, imprime mucho. Algo importante. Como que, hay, que como que es bastante importante para alguien que, que imprime, algo así. Para que alguien que imprime mucho. ¿Qué importancia? ¿Qué importancia para alguien que imprime? En el mismo bloque estaría eso, ¿verdad? En el mismo bloque, pero no sé si podemos verlo. A ver. Dice ahí, mire, este también. Eh, becomes important. En el, donde dice speed. Sí. Uh -huh. Ahí entonces dice, if you do much print, printer, printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Ajá, que la, la velocidad de print becomes important, ¿verdad? Ajá, que sería es la, importante. la velocidad de la impresora se vuelve importante. Sería la velocidad. Ajá.
one is import and uh, paste. <clears throat> color, printer. color print is lower, more expensive. Printer are much faster. Okay, the, col so. the color printer is slower, lower, more. ¿Cómo que la primera? Hola. What what is color input for some user number one? Is important for users who need to print present. Pero pues también ahí. Dicen con la pregunta solamente pondríamos la, lo que hemos hallado o le, o le agregaríamos siempre are o is. Por eso en la primera ya está lista. Digamos, yo, yo considero wow. que así. Bueno, entonces en la otra, eh, ¿qué es que qué significaba GPI? Entonces ahí, ahí sí no solo podríamos responder eso. Lo que te agregar que por ahí está el teacher, sería en la yeah. segunda teacher cuando dice what does DPI, DPI start for en la respuesta solo vamos a poner lo que hayamos dots perch o siempre le agregamos el, el verbo are are dots perch inch si quieren armar una oración pueden armar una oración si no solo respondan la pregunta Okay. Ah, ok. Ok, entonces. Sí. ¿Y cómo se dice significa? Esto significa. Ok, eh, solo quiero que escojan a alguien como, como secretario, solo para que nos vayas eh, dando la respuesta que todos eh, hicieron, ok. Escojan a un miembro del grupo como secretario para escribir las respuestas. Please.
Okay, welcome back. Ok, escucharon mi mensaje, que nombraran un secretario. No. No, teacher. No, teacher, no. Ah, pues bueno, vamos a... Al azar. Al azar. No, creo que todos tienen la misma respuesta en cada grupo, ¿no? Si es que era puede darme la respuesta. Uh, so, we are going to write in the chat. The, the answers, okay, to check your work. Let me see here. The first question is, why is color important for some users? Okay. A ver. Eh... Carlos Enrique, voy a escoger a, a uno de cada grupo para que me escriba la respuesta. Carlos Enrique, Carla Milena, Mauricio Antonio y Sandra Yamilet. Write the answer, please. Escriban su respuesta como grupo. Why is color important for some Users. Carlos Enrique, Carla Milena, Mauricio Antonio y Sandra de Amilet. ¿Qué pasó? ¿No tomaron la respuesta? Ah, okay. It's important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps. One, two, three. Okay, very good. Presentations or maps. Perfect. Okay, question number two says, what does DPI stand for? A ver, José Francisco, ah, bueno, lo mismo, vaya, pues lo mismo, ya quedan como secretarios. Okay, that's per inch, that's per inch. That's per inch. Yeah. Okay, that's correct. That's per inch. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, through number three, why are color printers more expensive? Why are color printers more expensive? Uh-huh. Yeah, William. Mm -mm. No, eso no es la razón. More expensive. Carla Milena, okay. Por ahí envía la number two, teacher. Okay. ¿Y los demás grupos? ¿Qué pasó? Number three. Because are much faster. Mm, mm, 
I don't think they are much faster, not. The reason they are more expensive is because they use two ink cartridges. That's why. Okay, number four. What is something important for someone who prints a lot? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? Okay. Respond, please. Question four. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes, the speed of the printer. Um, no, I think it's the speed, the important. Okay, and finally, number five. What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Okay, okay. Uh huh. Yes, one megabyte. Okay, very good. Now, I will send you again to working groups, the same groups, and I want you to get. 10 words, 10 new words, new vocabulary from the article for you as a group, 10 words with the translation, okay? With the meaning, yeah, 10 words con el significado, new for the group. All right. Okay, go to your groups again. And uh, prepare those 10 words with the meaning. Not sure. It. Hello. Me okay. llamaron por aquí. Sí, sí. Es que no entendimos bien el ejercicio. Ten 
new words, new vocabulary from the text, the article. Yeah, new words, new vocabulary for you. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's it. Ten with the meaning in Spanish, for example, printer. Oh, impresora. Okay, so that's it. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 See you. Ah. Ah, ahí está el teacher. Teacher, el significado en inglés o cómo se traduce al español, así es, o cómo es el ejercicio. Yes, in Spanish. What is the meaning of Spanish? ¿Qué significa en español? Yes. Okay. ¿Y, y sobre qué vamos a hacer las oraciones, teacher? Diez son, ¿verdad? No, no sentences. Words. Ah. Okay. Ten words, ten new words from the text, from the article of printers. Okay, del texto que acabamos de trabajar, diez palabras nuevas. Que, ajá. Yes, that's okay. correct. Thanks. Okay.
No me quisiera que el measure es el que puse yo de medida. Yo puse perhaps. Yo es small, pequeña. <risa> Okay, people. Let's write some words, okay? We'll go one by one to avoid repetition. Vamos a ir uno a uno para no repetir. Vamos a ver qué palabras nuevas encontramos ahí, que aprendimos. Okay. Abner, can you write one word, please? Solo una palabra. Y, uh, with the meaning, okay? Con el significado. Abner? Abner, up one. Abner, two. No está. No fue. Ana Elizabeth. Ana Elizabeth, una palabra, please. Okay, what is the meaning? Significa. Espérense, espérense. Vamos en orden. Ok, sharpness, nitidez. Ay, William. Ya se adelantó. Ah, bueno, Brian. Ok, Abner. Now, Brian. Bueno. Ahorita, ahorita me conecto bien porque voy llegando. Ah, bueno, entonces esperemos. Vamos con Carlos Enrique. Ay, no. Está funcionando. Irma. Mm. 
Okay. Jose Francisco. Estoy escribiendo, Tiche, estoy escribiendo. Ah, eso. Ahí la, la par va la, 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 el, la traducción, lo que significa. A ver, no ha llegado todavía o ya. Ya está. Ahí está. Ok, good. Eh, Carla Milena. Okay. Steam, pero aparece esa palabra en el en el artículo. Steam. No, teacher, yo me confundí, o sea, tenían que ser del artículo. Ah. Sí. <risa> okay, Levi, Epifania. No la tengo, teacher. Estoy viendo, aprendiendo de los compañeros. Ok. Marisol, Mauricio. Ok. Ok. Uh, Sandra y no sé si me falta alguien mm -hmm. that per inch ok So, esa es la idea, ¿no? Al encontrarse con un artículo, tratar de extraerle lo más posible palabras nuevas, nuevo vocabulario, para ir aprendiendo. Con palabras así, lo que uno hace es que las coloca en una tarjetita o en, la, en el espejo o en algún lugar visible para estarla recordando, ¿no? Hasta que se nos queden grabadas. Ok. Very good. Any question with the article? ¿Alguna pregunta con el artículo? Treats. Mm. Dice, yo tenía una duda con ese treat porque no sé si es trata o es golosinas. ¿Ni de dónde te salió golosinas eso? A tratar de traducirlo, pero cuando pongo en completa la oración, si ya da un sentido como trata o de tratar. Sí, tratar. 
en, este, en el texto que estamos leyendo es tratar. Cuando se trata de... Pero si solo fuera la palabra, se golosina, ¿verdad? No. Yo sepa que no. Lo que pasa es que se usa cuando los, los niños andan en Halloween, que dicen trick or treats. Pero, okay. pero significa tú. Ah, ah, ah. No, pero como golosina no encuentro ninguna traducción. Okay, gracias. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Well, let's continue with the manual. We have an, uh, two more lessons to finish and let's see. In the next lesson, we will read about complaint, how to state a complaint. Okay, complain. How to fill out a complaint form. How to fill out, you will be able to fill out a complaint form. Okay. What is the meaning of complain? A ver, alguien que me pueda, que pueda averiguar rapidito y me diga ¿Cuál es el significado de com? Formulario de quejas. Queja, ok. Queja. Complaint form, correcto. Un formulario, ¿no? De queja. Ok. Let's take a look to this conversation. I will read it and record it first. Here. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. One more time, listen. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on yet today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay? Now. Repeat after me. Thank you for calling the IT department. Thank you for, Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work Hello. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. I need to file a complaint about my work I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I'm sorry to hear Please describe the problem. Pay attention to the pronunciation. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. 
It was yesterday. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Okay, now I am Mike and you are Maria. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I'm sorry. It was very let me send you, let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you are welcome. Okay. Oh, you are Mike. Now you are Mike. You begin. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you for calling the department. department. IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That that is problem. Problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Thank you. You are okay. Okay. Um, okay. Cuando dice aquí, my work terminal. So, se está refiriendo a la computer. Por eso está esto entre paréntesis. No es necesario decirlo. Ya, solo entender que la terminal es la computer terminal de trabajo okay so i'll send you to practice the conversation quickly and uh, uh, respond these two questions what expression does mike use to show a solution in progress and two what seems to be the problem with the computer. Okay. So let me form the groups to work in pairs to practice the conversation and respond the questions. Bien, vamos a ver si alguien de pronto queda solo. Lo voy a mover. Ok, go to your groups, please, and practice the conversation. Sandra, somebody's waiting for you.
Okay, I'd like to hear your your conversations. Let's start with Monica and Raul, please. Okay. Okay. Thanks you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe it, describe the problem. It was very it was very slow yesterday and and it died in and it did didn't and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a compliant form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are well, you are welcome. Okay, very good. Now please, Mauricio and William. Okay. Thank you for calling the ET department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to fill a company about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and eating to on today. Let me send someone white a complaint for. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. Uh, You're welcome. You. Carlos, Enrique, and Mary. Thank you. You for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, very good. Brian and Irma, please. Thank you, you. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't, it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a compliance form. We can set a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. Now, Jose and Kevin. Thank you for calling the ET department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to fill a complaint about my word terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it did didn't turn on today. Let me send said Sinome with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in the time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Anna Elizabeth and Marisol. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to fill a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. 
we can sing, we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And finally, Milena and Levy. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I was very slow yesterday, and I didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, let's review some words. Um, what is the pronunciation of this? IT. And I T. Okay. I T. Okay. Aquí no es, no es lo mismo que esto, ¿verdad? No es lo mismo. Una cosa es it. Significa IT, teacher ahí. ¿Qué era IT, people? ¿Qué es IT? Olvido. Okay. Information technology. Information technology. Lo que aquí diríamos el departamento de informática. Information technology. Okay, uh, otra frasecita en la que se trabaron algunos es en esto, ¿no? It didn't, it didn't turn on, it didn't turn on. No es didn't, it didn't. 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 Okay. Uh, Uh, básicamente uh, uno nada más por ahí with no why with complaint computer no computer describe no describe File. Okay, remember IT. File. Describe. Describe. It didn't. It didn't. With. With. Complaint. Complaint. Computer. Computer. Okay, very good. Any question with the conversation, people? Questions? Okay. So, what expression? Does Mike use to show a solution in progress? Please describe. Mm -hmm. A solution. Please 
we can send. Let me someone with a complaint form. Okay, yes. Let me send someone with a complaint form. What seems to be the problem with the computer? It was very slow yesterday and I didn't turn on today. And it didn't turn on today. Correct. Okay. Very good. Um, okay. Yes, I don't know if you have this in your company. If you need to file a complaint or to fill in a complaint form, or just let me show you how to fill in a complaint form. They ask you name of complainant. Complainant es la persona que pone la complaint, ¿verdad? La date, la fecha, home phone number, work phone number, fax number, street address, city, email address. Okay, how to read an email address? ¿Cómo se lee una dirección de correo? Esto se lee S E underscore S E underscore Montoya at hotmail.com. That is the way to read this. Así se lee esta, este correo electrónico. El guión bajo se lee at. Ah, perdón, underscore. El guión bajo se lee underscore. Aquí está, underscore. El arroba se lee at y el punto se lee dot ok s e underscore montoya 2022 at hotmail dot com ok Y luego, pues, acá se describe el problema que ustedes reportan. Por ejemplo, el de la... My computer was very slow yesterday and it didn't on today. This is the problem I want to report. My computer was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Boom. Any question on this format? Sí, teacher. Sería tan amable de volver a, a pronunciar cómo se lee el, 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 su correo. Yo lo leo S E underscore Montoya 2022 at hotmail dot com. Gracias. Tomorrow, you are going to read your email. Right? 
ustedes nos van a decir su email en in English. Ok, así es que lo pueden practicar. Y vamos a a llenar este formato y una pequeña conversación como esta. But tomorrow. Ok. Ok, people, that's all for today. I'm going to take the last attendance of the evening, ok? Please respond. Abner Adoni Molina. Present. Ana sure. Elisa, ok, Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Present. Brian Aldair Figueroa. Present. Carlos Antonio Elías. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Carmen Merari Ríos. Irma Noemí Martínez. Present teacher. José Francisco Beltrán. Present teacher. Carla Milena López. Present teacher. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Present teacher. Clay Yoribet Cruz. María Epifania Castro. Present teacher. Good night. Ok, Present Mariel. Present. Ok. Present. Diela. Yes, yes. Mariel Andrea Carranza. Marta Marisol Castillo. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Present teacher. Good night. Mónica María Pérez. Present. Good night. Oscar Humberto Argueta, Raúl Mauricio Ramírez, Ricardo Alonso present, López. Present, present. Okay. Sandra Yamilete Escobar, Teresa Noemí Ángel. Present, Vilma de Los Ángeles Escobar. Y William Giovanni Lainez. Present. Ok, people. Bueno, Ricardo. Ricardo Alonso no contesta. Present teacher Sandra Yamilet Escobar. Ok. Y Ricardo Alonso, los 10 minutos son contigo. Ok, good night people. See you tomorrow. Remember, complete homeworks and exam. Bye -bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Ricardo Alonso. Bueno, el participante se encuentra acá en la sesión de 10 minutos, pero no responde. Es que pues igual me quedaré aquí los 10 minutos. Conectado.